accepting responsibility for the nerfs, Kamikaze Von Doon steps down. His predecessor, Off Constantly, presides. To fight the traps, we must first understand the traps. We can ill afford another nerf. Would you like to know more? You'll bet your sweet bippy I did. So me and Yannick decided to talk for a little bit yesterday. As you can see, he says, I'll bite. Where you found the traps? I kind of went over some of the stuff that I told him. Now, I'm not going to show you every little thing. I'm going to let this video kind of speak for itself. But, Yannick, you know my price. My price is 5,000 exotic components. Now, the catch to this right here, Yannick, and you other devs, is for the people who have also helped me find this out, the people you see in these videos that I have of recording, which I sent out a message to certain people. Uh, we happened to just get people together last night. If you weren't a part of that, I do apologize, but I'll also add those names in later on for the people who offered to help me out. And again, these are the people that uh, are on my YouTube channel and they watch me and they do these kinds of things. But uh, the price also goes for them because I could not have done this without their help. So, my price is 5,000 exotic components. Now, you want to see what I've found? Okay, here it is. And believe me, I have all this stuff documented just in case. So the first thing I want you to notice is this right here. I want you to notice the dog itself. And what happens when that dog gets hit with the traps? Look at its arm. It just chunks away. What are dogs, ladies and gentlemen? If you know this answer, what are dogs? What damages them the most? Since other content creators want to Nearby mess this test up, rogue. here we go. Level rogue zero traps. Boom. He still takes a lot of damage. You can see my build, zero damage for traps. Nothing, no explosive damage, no nothing. His build that he has is unbreakable adrenaline rush as much armor as possible 2.0 not the 2.1 but 2.0 so we went for the highest that we possibly could get on just him right now now if i come down here and i were to say let me switch on and put on some extra skill tiers now again we have to wait till we're out of the rogue area so i'm not going to cut out anything from this i'm going to show you how we get this we're going to slowly add in skill tiers. Not going to take away, we're going to add in, add them in. So we've got one skill tier for the technician. We're going to take off these, put on some actual like damage gloves, stuff like that. Let's put on the catharsis. So some extra blue armor. And you know what? Yeah, we'll go with the walker with the blue armor. And we're going to go with the fox's prayers. Now, for my holster, I will add in one extra skill tier. But I don't want to use those ones. I want to just add the skill tier and 10% skill damage. So we've got the 15 from here. we got two skill tiers. So we got a level 2. This technically should not kill him. It's not enough. It should not nearby kill him. Nearby agent has gone rogue. Rogue agent nearby. Yeah. Did y'all see that? It double tapped him. Two, rogue two pops. That's nearby. it. Now that we've got him down with that, what we're going to do is we're going to take off a little bit of skill damage. We're going to take off the wyvern. We're going to take off the one skill tier, and we're going to go to something else. I'm going to take this down to one. One skill tier. No extra skill damages, no nothing, just the the technician and the 15 that we get from that. And we're going to see if we can kill him again. So, if I was able to kill him with not just a level 2 trap, but also just that tiny, that 10% extra skill damage, something's up. Nearby agent has so, this is a level 1 trap. Agent Almost took him down in half. Half of his armor. But here's the problem. You notice that when we go above level 2, 
or anything higher than that. When we get to level three, it doesn't do any damage to the armor. Now, I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a second. So I was able to hook up with these guys over here. I'll show you their names later. But because they were able to come into the same DZ we were in, I'm gonna put on the exact same stuff. The Wyvern, we've got the Bellstone chess piece. Put on the Contractors. And again, we're gonna hit them with two, two skill tier, okay? Because again, everything above two skill tier with a little bit of skill damage can basically kill a player. So again, same thing, all this. You can see them right over there. Watch this. I want you to watch very carefully. Look at his health. Look at his health. That was not his unbreakable, ladies and gentlemen. No. That was literally just because of the health damage. So, when I throw these out, they hit the player. It goes through their health, through the unbreakable, and kills them. If this did damage to their armor first, the armor break on the unbreakable would proc and give him his armor. But it doesn't. It gets him by the health. Now, another way we can demonstrate this is if you were to take the say the exact same build that you have on an unbreakable you go to countdown and the status effect when you're getting steam takes you down but your unbreakable doesn't proc we can also test it that way now we're also going to see if mono over here he has level zero traps we're going to see what the radius difference is from like a level zero to a level six to see how big the radius of each individual trap is. Real you see right there, so we got three rings. So does that change? That one's got three rings. Okay, the closer I get to them. All right, so as for damage, nothing. When I step on it, nothing. Okay, so the damage form on the ground does jack shit. That is where they've been completely nerfed. And then you see, still three rings. Three rings right there. So the damage of these individually does not do anything, but when they stick to a player, they instantly go for the player's health, not their armor. That's the mess up. Now, while we're also on the subject, if y'all ever come over here and you open these boxes, you're not seeing any exotic components. That's what they look like right there. Just real quick, when you grab it, you see it pops up right there on your screen. That's it. So devs, and all you other guys out here, you're all trying to figure out why they haven't been able to do this. Why? And I told y'all in one of my other videos about the traps what I thought was the problem. And this is how another way I was able to deduce this. Because thanks to the devs actually nerfing it. And I kid you not, these things got nerfed almost 99% of their damage was nerfed for PvP. They were hitting, and I went back and looked, it was like 189, and then it jumped up to like 200,000, to literally dropping down to 2,000 on a level one, a level one trap. So basically, they they pretty much got a 99% nerf. Now, I deduced originally that it was either going to be the skill damage, because they were just getting too much damage out, or there was a hidden damage modifier on them somewhere that we could not see. Well, since the damage got reduced down and level 1 and level 2 was able to take that type of damage on players, I was able to deduce that once this stuff was gone and I went and hit Waffle Spoon with a fully stacked out heartbreaker and it went straight through him and I still had a level four and then I slowly turned down the damage to see what it was. We saw that it was still getting through. That's where you knew that it wasn't going for the armor because if it went for the heartbreaker's armor, he had six million in armor, he would have died, but no, it went straight for the health. The traps hidden damage is health damage. So there's no stopping that, period, ladies and gentlemen. If I put on a level two trap and I hit you with them and I have even just the slightest amount of skill damage, 
it's going to get through, increase its damage because of the skill damage, and it's going to do it directly to your health bar. That is why it goes through the unbreakable, and you hear the unbreakable proc, but you don't get it because your health is gone. So devs, my payment, like I said, is 5,000 exotic components. And here's a list of people who helped me get that.